What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. We're doing the size in six minutes series again. And this time we're hitting the deltoids. What we're talking about are those shoulders that don't seem to grow. And the irony here behind all this six minute size technique is we're actually using very, very light weights. And the idea is you need to be able to activate the muscle if you want it to grow. Now guys, we've covered this before we actually started this entire series with our biceps. If you haven't seen that video, of course you gotta subscribe to the channel, but make sure you also turn on notifications so you don't miss all the other ones we're gonna start bringing in this series. Back to the deltoids. There are actually some guys that don't have good shoulders. They cannot develop them. And despite all tons of heavy overhead pressing, they're not responding. Sometimes, guys, that's the fact of life. We all have our different muscle groups that don't respond. And what happens a lot of times with the big exercises is we tend to dominate with the upper chest and the triceps, for example, in an overhead press, and the delts just don't get that much tension. So what do we do to address this? How do we get more tension there? I'm going to tell you this. With the biceps, it was about being able to contract and feel that squeeze. When it comes to the delts, the biggest secret is the speed of movement. Let me show you, and I want you to try this and feel this for yourself. We're going to grab some very light dumbbells. And you need to in order to execute what I'm showing you here. You start going front delt, middle delt, and rear delt. Okay, you start with the front delts. And what you want to do is people can do front delt raises all they want, whether they have thumbs up here or whether they have thumbs parallel to each other and the dumbbells parallel to the ground. It doesn't really necessarily matter. What's happening most of all is the speed of movement. People just move the weights fast. Now, it's not necessarily that they're swinging them up. It's just moving fast and relying on the momentum of the moving dumbbell. What you want to be able to make it more difficult to move these weights up against gravity. So what you do is you ground yourself, okay? And you run a running clock for one minute. This is the first minute of the six minute little series you're going to do here. And as you're grounding and pushing down, you want to drive the dumbbells up at a slow pace like this. Okay, everything is being contracted from the front delt. Okay, straight up, straight down. So I'm feeling as if I'm pushing everything down, but the dumbbells are coming up. Just like that. Okay, when you go slow, you realize that it's the delts that are primarily driving this movement. Okay, you want to feel it and concentrate on them doing the work as I do one side there at a time so you can see it. I'm literally flexing as hard as I can and making it do the work on the way up. Okay, so right away I feel that. Now, we don't slow things down when we're training athletically. What we want to do is we want to speed things up. So as soon as you're done with a minute of that, you come down. We do an explosive exercise, just a push press, all right? So I'm not going to grab a super heavy weight, but let's say a pair of 45s. I come up here, drive them, and a little push press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I explosively drive the bells up. Rest pause as many as you can, rest pausing for 30 seconds. 30 second rest. Now, we move right into the middle delt. So again, I'm grabbing a light weight. Well, here we move slow once again. I'm going to start with the dumbbells right here, a little bit of a bend in my elbow. But the key is don't just swing them up and don't move them at a fast rate because you're going to shift all that tension away from the middle delt. Instead, drive here and squeeze them all the way up with just that middle delt and down. Hand positioning, guys, I always have that pinky under the thumb. I lead with the thumb, get into external rotation at the top. I can actually spin around a little bit. You can see that as I come up to the top. Again, by leading with the thumb and letting the pinky trail, I've got external rotation here on the shoulders. Okay, and down. Everything is slow. I'm trying to stay grounded and down, but the arms are raising while everything else is being depressed. Just like that. And down. I'm telling you, I don't care if you've never gotten a pump in your shoulders, if you've never known how to activate your delts before. The key is you probably just never slowed it down. So you do that for a minute. Now, obviously fatigue is setting in. I come back down again. I grab a slightly lighter pair of dumbbells for my push press to accommodate for that fatigue. But we gotta speed it up. Ass out. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep 
keep going all the way through. Hit the front, hit the middle, gotta hit the rear. So for the rear, you can go a little bit heavier, believe it or not, but it's how you do this. I told you that one of the best ways to hit that rear delt is you need to get extension of the arm back behind the body, okay? It's not just raising your arm up by being bent over where it's just going straight out to the side. You need to get your arm back behind your body. It also helps to be able to, again, externally rotate the shoulder. So we have, I'll do it with one side first and I'll grab the other dumbbell. But you're leaning over this way here and then you're twisting up, okay? Here and squeezing up. Now, I'll give you a secret on the rear delt. The rear delt is maintaining tension in that peak position. So it's not just slow, but it's maintaining a hold at the top. Because you'll feel the building contraction in the rear delt only after about two or three seconds of holding. So when I get up here, I'm gonna come up here, row, extension, hold. Right about now is when I'm starting to feel it really tense up. Okay, and down. Keep them moving. Up, rotate it, go high, squeeze, 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 and down. Up, and up. Uh, so it's all that mounting contraction at the top. Of course, one more time, you drop it one more time, you speed them up at the very end. Last 30 seconds, in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ah, ah. Rest pause for 30 if need be, or just crank them all out. So guys, here's that sequence one more time. Slow on the front delts. While everything is down, you're forcing the arms up only. Do that for a minute. 30 seconds of the push press, a 30 second rest. Come back here, grab those light dumbbells again. Same thing, ground yourself. Let the arms come up on their own. Squeeze all from the delt. Let this, this is the delt right here guys. I don't have the muscle marker on me today. Right from here to here, let that squeeze up and drive the motion. After that, lighten the weights a little bit more, push press them. Come back one more time, a little bit heavier on those. Focus on that pacing still, but at the top, Hold, 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 hold. Mouth that contraction, the intensity of it. If you've never felt your delts before, this is what you're gonna do. And I promise you guys, it's this little routine, done a few times for my muscle activation, that's gonna help you to be better able to recruit your delts. So now when you go back to the big lifts, like your overhead press, guess what's gonna happen? You'll actually probably start to press more. Why? Because in addition to the upper chest, in addition to the triceps, you now actually have the ability to recruit your shoulders a little bit more effectively and that will help you in that uh, overall performance of that lift too. So guys, I hope you're finding this series helpful. Every muscle kind of has its own way to activate it and to get a better control over it. And that's why I want to devote my, uh, myself to being able to do uh, an entire series on this. Again, remember to see them all, you gotta not just be subscribed, but turn on your notifications as well to make sure you never miss them. And if you're looking for a step-by-step -step plan, guys, as always, all of our programs available over at athletenext.com. We put the science behind the strength, much like what we're trying to do here. Because guess what? All these little things, they all matter, especially when you're having some issues in the first place, building the muscles that you want to. If you found the video helpful, guys, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what I'm going to cover. What do you want to see next? I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. See you soon.